Okay, so I've just finished recording another episode of my podcast, Mathematical Punch-Ons, and I want to get this out into the world. So, we know how to go to File, Export, and Export it as an MP3 file. But the problem is, what am I going to do now with it? How am I going to get this file out there? Well, what I recommend you do is you use this website, podomatic.com, P-O-D-O-M-A-T-I-C.com. It's a free website that allows you to host podcasts. When you sign up for an account, you get, I think, about 30 days of a free professional account with it, which gives you access to a lot of uh, really nice statistics. So, for example, you can go and you can see your downloads over time and how many times each episode's been downloaded. You can even get a map of the world showing you exactly what country is downloading your podcast and how many from each. But at its most basic, it's just a site that lets you actually get your podcast out there. So what I'm going to do is just quickly run you through how to do this. I'm going to go here into the option Publish Podcast and I'll click Create. Now it's going to ask me for a lot of different information here. I'm going to type in the title of my podcast. I'm going to type in some kind of description of it. I'll click Save and Continue. Now this is where it's going to ask me to upload the file. So if we click Upload it's going to bring up this little window. I'm going to do select some files. I'm going to go into my desktop, mathematical punch-ons. Here's the episode and there's my mp3 file. So this is going to upload here in the background. While this is being uploaded, I can go and choose a few other options. Now I've got to pick a photo from the episode. I've already uploaded one here that I'm going to I'm just going to select my this one, save and continue. Some search tags in there, so I might type in educational, Newton, Leibniz, a few other things. I'm also going to select clean. Here, this just lets people know that there's no rude bits or anything like that in your podcast, which will make it a bit more likely that it's going to get downloaded for educational purposes. Now, while this is all going on, the file is being uploaded in the background that's still going on there and it's saying media uploading you have if you want you've got the option there to publish it later if you want to do that now I don't want to actually upload this episode so I'm just going to click here to cancel it but what this is going to do is that's going to take this episode and add it to my own website which you get one, this one is mathematicalpunchons.podomatic.com and this website you can actually give out to people. You can give them that address and then they can just come along and they can scroll through and they can find different episodes. They can click play if they want and they can just listen to it through the um, through their browser. They can click download if they want to actually get it as an mp3 file themselves. But the best part of it is they can click here to subscribe to it with iTunes. Now Approximately 102% of all high school students use iTunes, so I cannot recommend this enough. If you say to a student, Here, here's this website address, go and type it in, chances are they're not going to or they're going to complain about it. If you say to a student, go to iTunes, type in Van Langenberg in the iTunes store, they're going to be able to do that really, really easily. So the trick is to just figure out how exactly you need to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to this address, podomatic.com slash podcast slash directories. And that's going to give me an RSS feed. This is really simple syndication, that stands for. I'm just going to highlight that, copy, and then I'm going to click here for Apple iTunes. That's going to load up the iTunes program. If you don't have iTunes, for whatever reason, even if you don't like it, you have some ethical problem, you don't like Steve Jobs or something like that, get iTunes anyway and sign yourself up with an account for it. Once you've done that, it's going to let you do all of these things. Okay, so i just got to wait a little second. This is going to load up the software in the background and it's automatically going to take me to the iTunes store. Now, here it says podcast feed URL. I'm just going to paste that in and click continue. I'm not going to go through the entire process here but you should be able to um, follow these next steps fairly easily. You just type in your iTunes account details. You can create an account if you don't already have one. And what's going to happen is this is going to submit it to iTunes. Now this process can take a while. Mine took about two and a half weeks 
And what's happening is somebody at Apple actually has to go through and check out the podcast and make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. You know, make sure that it's not racist or anything like that. Once that gets done, once that gets organized, every single episode that you submit to Podomatic is automatically going to go up to iTunes. And that also means that any student that subscribed to your podcast is automatically going to download the next episode the next time they log into iTunes. So give that a try. If you want to get it out there to the public, it's a really good idea. Other people can find it themselves. My podcast is downloaded by students at the school, but I've also gotten a lot of other people around the world downloading it, just going and doing searches through iTunes. So again, thanks for watching. Okay, so I've just finished recording another episode of my own podcast, Mathematical Punch-Ons, and I want to get this out there into the world. So I've gone into File, Export, and I've saved it as an MP3 file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over into my web browser to the website podomatic.com. This is a free website. I've signed up an account with this already. And what it lets you do is upload podcasts to it, and they will host them for you for free, which will let other people around the world go and download them. Now... I'm going to go here to publish, podcast, and create. And this is actually going to go through the process of submitting each episode. So I've typed in episode 8. I'm going to type in some kind of description in here. Save and continue. And upload a file. In this window it brings up, you'll see there, select some files. Maximum of 1 gig. Although 1 gig would be pretty enormous. I don't imagine you'd ever get to that size. And I'm going to double click on that file. And you'll see it uploading here in the background. Now it's going to get you to pick a photo. It's a good idea to have just a little image associated with each podcast. I use the same image every time, although you can upload a new photo each time you want. So I'm just going to select that and click Save and Continue. And this next step is quite important, the tags. This is what's going to let people do a search for it. So I might type in here Math, Maths, Mathematics, Newton, Leibniz, education or whatever I want in there. And I'm also going to tell iTunes that this podcast is clean. That just lets people know that there's nothing rude about your podcast and for an educational one I think that's a really good idea. It's going to make people more likely to download it. I click on save and continue and this brings me here to that final step. This is where I'm actually going to go through and publish it once it's been uploaded. Now I've already uploaded this episode, so I'm just going to click here to cancel it. And once that's done, once it's been uploaded, you're going to find it on this website. My podcast is called Mathematical Punch-Ons, so my own personal site is mathematicalpunchons.podomatic.com. And when people go here, they can click and they can download any of the episodes. They can click play. That's going to bring up another episode where they'll be able to play the podcast in the background. I won't worry about that now. And as good as this is, the issue is if you say to a student, oh, you've got to go to this other website, Podomatic, and here's the URL for it, they're not going to be very likely to go through and do it. They're going to be, students want to do something that they're already familiar with. And what students are familiar with is iTunes. Now, if you don't have iTunes on your computer, get iTunes. If you don't have an account logged in with the iTunes store, set up an account. It's they're both completely free to do. Even if you don't like the idea of iTunes, you don't want to sign up to an Apple product or something like that, I still recommend you do it. It is honestly the best way of getting a podcast out into the world. Now, the first time you do this, though, you're going to actually need to submit it to iTunes to start with. So I'm going to go to this address here, podomatic.com slash podcast slash directories. And it's going to bring you to this page. Don't worry too much about what this stuff means. Just follow these instructions. You want to highlight this address in here and copy and then click Apple iTunes. You've downloaded iTunes before, so this is just going to load it up. And it's going to bring you directly to the iTunes directory. I'm going to paste that URL I copied into this text box and click Continue. Now, it's going to want me to sign into my account or create a new account. I'm not going to actually go through these steps because I've already done it before. But what's going to happen now is somebody in Apple is going to go through and check out your uh, your podcast, 
make sure that it's appropriate for people to download and if they think it's okay they're going to add it into the directory now this can take a bit of time mine took about two weeks although I have heard of some people's getting done in a couple of days but once it's done you only need to do it once and then every time you publish a new episode on Podomatic it's automatically going to get added to iTunes and what's nice about this is that now I can say to people go to the iTunes store type in Van Langenberg and do a search and it's going to come up with my podcast. Fortunately, I'm the only Van Langenberg on iTunes, so they're not going to have to scroll through a bunch of other things. They can click here, subscribe for free. That's going to subscribe them to this podcast. And then what's going to happen is every time they log on to iTunes and I have a new episode, it's automatically going to download it for them. So this is a good way of keeping your students up to date with each episode you put out. And anyway, thanks for watching.